Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to show you how to use slicers in Excel. So if you've received a file that contains slicers or you're sending one out to users, this video will be a great resource for them to learn how to use the slicers. Slicers are very easy to use, but there are a few tricks you should know when a report contains more than one slicer, and I will explain those in this video. Before I begin, this interactive guide can be downloaded at excelcampus.com and you can even copy it into your workbook if you're distributing a workbook that contains slicers. So what is a slicer? A slicer is a set of clickable buttons that allow you to quickly filter a pivot table or pivot chart. So in this example I have a pivot table here and these two slicers to the left of it are connected to the pivot table and they basically contain filters for the category and a subcategory in the pivot table. So if I click on any of these buttons in the slicer, you could see that the pivot table is quickly filtered uh, for drinks. And this would be the same as if you were to uh, go into the filter and filter this for drinks. So the slicer just allows you to visually see the filters that are being applied and, a, and apply a filter much quicker with just one click of a button. So if I click the slicer for drinks, you can now see that the subcategory contains the items that are related to drinks and this subcategory slicer down here displays those items at the top of the slicer and the items that are not related to the drinks are displayed at the bottom of the slicer and they're kind of grayed out. So if I, I can now further filter down if I click on T here that'll just filter this pivot table for drinks and subcategory of T. Now one thing you want to know about slicers is if I were to then go and filter this subcategory for bananas, let's say, you'll notice that everything disappears in the pivot table and nothing is being shown here. And that's because we're filtering for bananas and drinks, and bananas are not related to drinks. They don't fall under the category of drinks. So nothing is shown here because that filter does not really exist. However, the slicer will show you what category bananas is in. If you look here in the category slicer it's put fruit at the top of the slicer and also made it white and so if you click on fruit now you can see that uh, the pivot table has been filtered for fruit and bananas so you're displaying some data here and you also notice that all of the uh, subcategories within fruit are now moved to the top of the slicer here and you can continue to click on any of these subcategories to filter for the different items within that category. You can also uh, select multiple items in a slicer by holding the control key on the keyboard. So if I hold down the control key on the keyboard and then left click uh, apples and uh, let go of the mouse, that'll show apples and berries in the pivot table and you can visually see that really easily here in the slicer as well uh, that apples and berries are being filtered for. Uh, you can also use the shift key so if I select apples and hold down the shift key and then select berries then all of the uh, fields or items within that range are selected and displayed in the pivot table. This button in the top right corner of the slicer uh, clears the filter completely so uh, if I just click on that the filter will be cleared for the subcategory and you can see now that uh, all of the subcategories within fruit are displayed in the pivot table and you can do the same with the category filter to clear that and now we're back to showing every everything that's included in the pivot table. So that's a quick introduction on how to use slicers. Again this interactive guide can be downloaded at excelcampus.com and it'll allow you to step through this process and uh, and guide you through how to use slicers. Please check out our website and subscribe to the free email newsletter to receive more great tips like this. Thanks for watching.